welcome to another video. We are at uh, unit 1206. We uh, won this one as well on storageauctions.com. We are in Florence, South Carolina. This one we picked up for $110 with the applicable fees. We had to pay $99 for this one. And let's check out the pictures. Or picture. Both pictures are the same. So this is what it's supposed to look like as far as uh, the pictures go. Pretty dark, but uh, do a checker out thing. And this is it live. So picture to live looks exactly the same, which is really awesome for us because we hate coming in and finding that stuff's gone. All right, we're going to get this one loaded and. Uh, we will talk to you later. Okay, we've got all that stuff loaded up in here. And uh, we'll do uh, one final sweep of the unit. And then we should be able to go and back to the office and finish out everything. Okay, 12.06 U-Haul. Cleaned her out. Wall to wall to wall to door. And... Uh, Everywhere in between just left a little rat trap. That's it All right on to the next one Okay storage chasers we are back at our home base of operations as you can see we've got the blue tarp down Which means we have pulled out all the units contents and laid them all out here so we can go through them and uh, show you guys What we got all our goodies? Uh, the first couple of items we got here. We got this uh, Frigidaire dishwasher first time we got a dishwasher in a unit uh, this one here is uh, looks like it has all the the stuff does not look like it's had bad water going through it it's not like all yellow and stuff inside which is what we get from the bad hard water out here with well water so either it hasn't been used at all or that much or something looks like it has a little bit of use see a little bit of something on here but uh, nothing that just hard water yeah uh, soft hard water compared to mine. It's not that bad. Um, we'll be able to hopefully get this sold. Uh, you know, we'll list it on Marketplace, see what happens. Uh, then we got this freezer. A uh, little chest type freezer. We're going to have to plug it in and test her out. But, uh, uh, nope, no dead bodies. It's always good. Uh, looks like it's pretty deep. Pretty clean inside here as well. It just looks like the outside is... Uh, Looks a little older, kind of the, the the rubberized trim on the outside is kind of yellowing. Unless that's the way it was, I don't know, because this is yellowed here too. But it's all the rest is white. We'll see if we can clean up some of the paint on it. Make it nice and uh, nice and clean, test it out. And uh, yeah, sell that maybe for you know, a couple pennies. Uh, the next item here is really kind of cool actually. It's a, a, a Weeder Pro. Uh, bench and uh, we may actually have to call dibs on this one because this is like practically brand new it's an incline bench or a decline bench uh, next item is this really big large dresser uh, it is exactly that uh, it's got some uh, big ugly drawers to it some big ugly drawers for the top, the top two on each side are single drawers, and the bottom one is kind of weird. It's actually split in the middle, so it's got tracks and tracks and tracks and tracks, but the whole front piece is all one solid piece going across. Instead of making it into two separate drawers, this is one big giant drawer that you pull out. It's a kind of unique style. Both of the bottom drawers are the same way. Uh, this actually, the drawers, while we were bringing it home the two of the drawers popped out and uh, one of them popped loose so I actually had to glue uh, one of the drawers uh, together already we did that last night uh, before we unloaded uh, the next uh, big pieces here are this humongous -y thing which sits on top of this not as humongous -y thing uh, apparently this has real drawers in it because you can see the drawers but uh, this doesn't look like a like a bad quality item here. Let me 
looks like it's actually some really good wood. One big drawer on the bottom. Just does have paneling on the bottom. Uh, the drawers. So I'll have to fix that. It's got a little bit of uh, chipping down here and down here, which means pr probably something on, underneath the drawer with scraping. Uh, ways that you can tell the drawer or the furniture is made good is when you take the drawer out. Underneath, it has a center style that is supporting the actual paneling underneath there. So you know that this drawer is going to be stronger that way. <coughs> if you get another drawer and there's no uh, paneling underneath it, you know that it's a cheaper quality piece of uh, piece of material. Uh, probably like these over here. Yeah, these ones over here. Yeah, see, no style under the center, so that weakens the drawer a little bit, so you can't pound it full of stuff as much as you need. Uh, like I said, this also got another style in here, so doesn't look quite the same as the ones out there. But uh, we'll see if both of the both of the styles on the bottom drawer are there. If not, that may be why that it's doing that. Uh, this, well, this is taped closed, so we got to Oh, that's a wonderful tape. It is actually chipping apart. <laughs> the tape is chipping apart. Uh, it's medical tape. If you've ever used medical tape before, you know what I'm dealing with. Uh, and it is not, not coming off well. i got to clean this piece up a little bit. All right, so... This will be, uh, apparently here's the uh, exercise regiment to use our, our new slant board exercise guide. So with our new exercise bench comes instructions. So that'll be a plus. I have to keep those for later. Uh, just looks like a TV VCR kind of cabinet. Nothing up underneath there. But like I said, this piece sits on top of this piece, and this piece is already pretty tall as it is. So I'm going to have to sell it to somebody that's got a much taller uh, house, because that is going to be a pretty tall. Because this piece here has got to be close to 36 inches now. Which is uh, it's a good thing. But uh, we have all those things, and then of course we've got our uh, boxes of stuff to go through, which we really love. Uh, and also, just in case you're wondering, when I went through the drawers in the big black dresser, this is all the junk that was in there, because I don't want you to miss out on nothing. One old battery, some hair ties, a pin, uh, some change, uh, some really fake earring, a little flashlight, a uh, SIM card, and yeah, just junk, junk. Is there a 1799 3x so apparently they were a larger person too so it's always good to know but uh now let's uh, get on into these things all right back to the box stuff let's see what we got here we've got we've got something that's hooking on there it's got uh one of these things kind of looks like a bottle holder and uh, not one but two could be a shoe holder uh, put shoes on the little hooks and hang them. Seems kind of silly. I may mount them like that and make them gun racks. I don't know. Could be whatever. All right. Uh, next thing we have is besides the bugs flying around, is uh, an HP Pentium Windows Vista Basic computer. It's got a uh, DVD multi-disc player. So it's HP, and it's got all the older school stuff in there. Seems to still have the hard drive, which will be good. I didn't see any wires in here yet, but uh, we will have to check through and see if there's anything worth it. Uh, next thing is this. We've got a box that says it's a Canon printer. And then if you open the box... That's what it looks like is in here. So I don't know if they were using this and uh, 
put it back in the original box. Although there's the original paperwork and paperwork and disc. And it seems to have the original tape in the door. So this is this could be could actually be a pretty nice thing. I'll take it out and look at it a little more in depth to make sure. But uh, yeah, this could be brand new in the box and sold as a brand new in the box printer. And it, it is a wireless print copy scan one. So yeah, that could be some decent money. Uh, the next thing is a bag. It's a bag of dresses. I was going to say it looked nice, but... This looks like some staining to me, so I don't know if the white one is worth saving. But, uh, yeah, this looks like a nice fruffy, frilly kind of dress or two in there, so we'll check those out later. Alright, we've got a, another lamp. We have lots of lamps. This is one of the things I bought the unit for, was... Uh, this big old KitchenAid, I believe it's the five quart uh, KitchenAid mixer. This is a really nice looking heavy duty thing here. With a heavy duty plug and oh, see, so here's a whiskey that goes with it. It looks like it might be a slightly older one, uh, as long as it runs. We can clean it up, and it's got the bowl, it's got the whisk. I mean, that's you can you can start mixing and making stuff. It says it's a model K5A on it, so that's really good. And, uh, we'll be able to check that out. All right, next thing we got a Rust G G E no, it's a Russell Hobbs toaster oven. All right, that's kind of weird. Uh, we've had toaster ovens before, and uh, this one is not any cleaner than any of the other ones. The other ones we have are a lot cleaner. But if it works, we can take it to the flea market and sell it for 10 bucks, because that's about what we get for these things. So, not a bad deal there. Uh, then we have one of these. It might be from the dishwasher. Or it could be from the freezer. We'll have to check that out and see. All right, next we've got uh, another printer here. HP printer. DeskJet 3056. They were making, well, they were just probably putting new cartridges in there and making prints on it. So we'll have to check that out. There's a remote control in there for an Emerson, but there was no TV in there either. So let's go through the rest of the box. Alright. We got a vase. Uh, looks like a number two. I don't know. And then here's a, another one looks the same size. And that one says number one. Or does that say something on the same? I don't know. Anyway, we got... Uh, Two vases, all right. And then we got this, which is, uh, yep, don't take it personal. And uh, there's uh, God's Word, and uh, junk, and junk, and junk, and uh, what's this? I think headphones go in there. Sounds like pills to me. Let's see if I can open it here one-handed. And nope, there is actual little green headphones in there. They don't say beats on them or nothing. They say, yeah, that they came from somewhere. So, and then there's some more junk and more junk. And there's another power cable and uh, more junk, band aids, and yeah, chicken flavored ramen. All right, and more junk. All right, enough with that one. Next bag. Next bag it has some fans. I always need fans. All right, what else we got? We've got 
Looks like some card games, some playing cards, uh, who is it cards, and some regular playing cards. There's a bag of uh, Uno cards in there, and there's a couple of smaller, weird batteries. Four AAA batteries. It says are in there. Sounds like something's in there. And then here's another little box of uh, four AA batteries. Well, you know, we will definitely check those out. Because we will use some batteries. Alright, so that's good. Uh, there's some pictures. Don't take it personal. Alright. Uh, blue rope lights. We tried selling this at the flea market last week and it didn't go nowhere. But, you know, we'll plug it in and see if it works. Um... We've got a blow-up Santa, nope, it's a blow-up Santa Claus reindeer looking thing, and it's got the motor, so we got that, we got a power cord, so that's not going to be any good, there's the power, we've got a Liz Claiborne Liz Claiborne purse here. It says Liz Claiborne. Nothing in that pocket. And nothing in that pocket. No pockets on the outside. So now we dig inside and see what we come up with. Because that's what everybody likes to see. Alright, we got uh, more junk. Don't take it personal. We got more, more stuff. Don't take it personal. Uh, yeah. I think it's a nail filing block of some sort. So trash. We got a broken CD, some of that. Uh, yeah, that's not depressing. Um, tissue, more pictures. Don't pick, take them personal. Uh, some tattoos. You know, I always did want that tiger tattoo. Now I can get it. Mhm. Mm That'll be fun. And pictures, pictures, personal, personal, personal. Where's the money? Personal, personal, uh, personal, and another cable, and here's a shorter little cable, and trash is in that pocket, go to the center pocket, and it is empty, and then this last section is personal, and personal, and yeah, there's some weird knob, and uh, one another wire, and uh, a battery pack for something. Looks like maybe a battery pack for a laptop, or almost. Kind of weird. Didn't see a laptop in there. And ah, finally, a penny. Starting to make some money back. All right, and a spoon. Uh, not silver. So that was kind of odd and scary. Uh, it looks like it almost goes to a Wii, which also was not in the unit. Um, let's see what's in this pouch. I feel something. It's a pencil sharpener. Eh, garbage. And garbage. And garbage. And garbage. And garbage. And, yep, all the rest is garbage. So, this Claiborne purse, uh, not too bad, but not going to be worth anything. Other than that, all right, let's see what else we got. We've got an award for somebody. I guess they were a genie. I don't know, but they won. And some garland. Yay, some garland. And here's another award. So they were a little princess or something. Actually, they were the second runner-up princess. So, ooh. Uh, this one here, they were so good that they ran out of their shoes. And that's all that's left of them. Uh... So that's a waste. And we have this one here that says nothing, so I can post my own picture on there. And yes, I am the champion. Yes, storage chasers number one. All right. And then we've got uh, another one that's got a broken foot. And then we've got a broken thingy here. And oh, there's one of the people. There's a lady bowler with broken foot so she was on one of them papers uh, more pieces of garland 
some uh, fake flowers. Yeah, that'll be for Mrs. Storage Chaser. And that, and pencils, and that, and whatever that is. Yeah, okay, so that's all that's in that box. More goodies, or not so goodies. Let's see what's in here. This looks like another blow up thing. Yeah, this is a giant snowman blow up snowman balloon thingy for the yard or something. I don't know. But I did find some more cash. Yes, six more cents to go with our money there. And, yep, one more. So seven. So we're at eight cents from this tote plus what we found in the dresser drawer. And that is it. That is. You know, you've seen everything that is in this unit. And it is very underwhelming, I know. Uh, except for the large items, which uh, I've already posted. We've actually stacked this up so we can see, get the measurements of the height and everything else. And it's actually a p cool piece. A uh, little uh, TV armoire thingy. So, uh, that's good. It's about six foot four that it stands. So that's a really nice thing. Uh, freezer, uh, still have to clean it up. We're going to post that. Dishwasher, I've already posted that. And the dresser thing, I've already posted that. The bench, me and my wife are still debating on that one, whether we want to sell or not, because it's like brand new. Uh, I don't even think anybody used it. So we may keep that, but uh, unfortunately we may uh, want to get a couple dollars for it. So we'll see what the best rate is for that. And uh, like I said, for the rest, a few... Uh, flea market trips maybe with a couple of these things and if that doesn't work donation or trash uh, this is probably are gonna be trash but this particular unit uh, did not turn out too bad uh, because of the size of the large items we are probably only gonna throw away um, maybe 10% of the stuff that we found in here so that's not bad at all and if I can make you know hundred dollars here there or there or there uh, it pays for the unit and uh, yeah, the rest will all be profit. So, that's really good. Alright, so that is it for this video. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Do all that fun stuff. And, uh, you know, if you like the video, don't like the video, let me know. Uh, if there's things I should change about it, let me know. Uh, other than, of course, like I said, the camera movements. Because, can't help that. Um, but, uh, yeah, I do appreciate you guys watching. Talk to you later.